Okay, I want to talk a little bit about JavaScript architecture when you're building applications. Specifically, I want to talk about the difference between inheritance and composition when you're designing your objects. So one approach is inheritance. This is the idea where there is a parent and that parent will have certain properties and methods. Those get inherited by child objects. So human and robot will both share some things in common. Here in this example I have talk. This is the method which is in common between both of these. So my human, I'm going to use object.create and I'm going to say this is the prototype. So in JavaScript this is the the chain of inheritance. It's through the prototypes. So we have a character being inherited from my human object is going to get the talk method as well as its speed and name properties. A robot is going to have a speed and an ID. It will also inherit from character, so it's going to get the talk method. Now, once we've defined our objects, we can add other ones in. So I'm adding a walk and an eat method for the human, for the robot. There's going to be a drive and a, a Wi-Fi method, we'll say. These are just going to write out messages onto the console just so I can show that things are happening. So I have a character, which is my parent, and then human and robot both inherit the talk method, and they have things that are unique about themselves. And then I'm going to have the actual characters, the objects that I'm going to work with in my game or in my app. So down here I'm creating one called Sam, and again I'm using object.create to inherit from human. That means that Sam gets everything that human had, speed, name, walk, eat, as well as what it inherited from character. So there's a talk method. And then I'm setting a default value for a property called name inside of Sam with the value of Samuel. I can call his walk and talk methods. The walk method is coming from the human. The talk method is coming from the character. So that's Sam. Then I'm going to have x73, which would be one of my robots. So I will inherit from robot. I get the speed, the ID, the drive, and the Wi-Fi methods, as well as the talk method from the parent. So I'm setting a default ID value of x73, and then I'm going to call my drive and Wi-Fi methods. So these four methods are going to run, and I'm going to be able to write those out. There we go. So Sam did the walking and then the talking, this message appeared. And then x73 drive and Wi-Fi, there. So it did the driving and it did the connecting to the Wi-Fi. And this is the Unicode character for the little lightning bolt. So anytime there's something electric, I'm going to put that little character inside there just to make it easier to spot which is which. So that's the idea of inheritance. And that's great, works fine. Um, as long as you have a well-architected object and you know what's the parent and what's the child. The problem with inheritance, if you're using just inheritance, the problem um, becomes what if there's something in the future, and this almost always happens, what if you run into a situation where there's something that exists in both further down the chain? So Okay, I can start adding things to character, but what if there's something that's not in character, there's something that I want to add to humans, or I come up with a third type of thing. So, for example, what if there's a cyborg? And Dolph Lundgren is our cyborg. So what if I want to create a cyborg? And this cyborg has the character talk method, great, but from the robot, I want the Wi-Fi method, and from the human, I'm going to use the walk method. So robots don't have walk, they've got drive. Humans have eat and walk. My cyborg, let's say he doesn't need to eat, doesn't need this, does need this, doesn't need this, but does need this. So, okay, now my architecture is a little bit faulty. I have the possibility of adding something further up the chain that he can import from, but anything that I add higher up here means that everybody who inherits from character is going to get this additional information. So humans are going to end up with Wi-Fi methods when I don't want them to. I want the cyborgs to. 
So that's, that's the issue with inheritance. If you know that things are going to be kept fairly simple, not a problem. Go ahead and use inheritance. There's nothing wrong with it. But if you're building an architecture that is likely to change, be aware that you may run into situations like this, which could require you to do a big refactoring of how your code is written. Maybe you come up with different classes at this top level and there's a new character at the top. However you decide to do it, it, it will be some refactoring required. Okay, that's the first part. Now, talking about composition. With composition, what we're going to do is we're going to take each one of those elements that we had inside of here, the talk, walk, eat, drive, Wi-Fi, those things, and we're going to turn those into objects themselves. So talker, walker, eater, driver, Wi-Fi, these are going to be their very own objects. So talker is going to be a function. It's going to receive a state object, which basically is just a reference. It's some data. It's reference to who this belongs to. And you'll notice that each one of these is going to be given a state object. It will return a method. So if I call talker and I pass in a state, it's going to give me back this. If I call walker and I pass in a state, it's going to give me back the walk method. So I'll come back and talk about what's going on inside each of these a little bit later. So for now, I just want you to realize that we've got five objects here. Talker, walker, eater, driver, Wi-Fi. These are the containers for these methods. Talk, walk, eat, drive, and Wi-Fi. Now, when I create a person, so this person is going to be a function. The function is going to return the object created by object assign. I'm starting with a blank object here. I have a state variable. This is just a variable name. Starting with this Whatever I pass in to the person function with the name gets set in here. The speed will get set in here. I've got a default value of 3. If I don't pass in a number, it'll be set. And then this state object gets passed to talker, walker, eater. Now, when I call person right here, I'm passing in Bob as the name. I'm using the default value for speed. This runs this function and it returns a new blank object that has those methods. The talk, walk, and eat method that were inside of here. Talk, walk, and eat. These three methods from up above are now methods that exist inside of this object. So Bob has those three methods. Now I can call talk, I can call eat, I can call walk, any one of those, because those are all methods that I've added in this way. By not attaching them to any step along this inheritance chain, what I've done is I've opened it up so that when I define what a person is, I just put reference to those things that are defined globally. So I'm taking each of those things and I'm putting them inside of this object. When I'm defining the Android, I'm doing the same sort of thing. Let k45 equal Android. I'm passing in the what will be used as the ID. That gets put into state. State gets passed to these. So the k45 drive method knows who it is. k45 Wi-Fi knows who it is. If we run this now, what we're going to see is these messages being written out. But just before I do that, I want to point out that our cyborg problem is now solved. When Dolph is cyborg, we're passing in his name and speed, and we now are able to define whatever methods we want. So he's got talker, he's got walker, He's got Eater, and he's also got the Wi-Fi. I could remove one of those if I didn't want Cyborgs to have that, 
but I'm just defining which are the properties that he's going to have, which are the methods that he's going to have by adding them here. So I have talker driver Wi-Fi is an Android. Talker walker Wi-Fi is a cyborg. So we save that, we run this. So here's our initial ones that we had from before. Sam and X73. And now here are the new ones. We've got the person Bob. Talking, eating, walking. Talking, eating, walking. And then we have the Android K45. Driving and connecting to Wi-Fi. Both of those work. And Cyborg. Walking and connecting to Wi-Fi. So Dolph is doing something that was typically from the humans and also doing something that was previously with the inheritance model, something that would work with only the robot. Okay, so that is pretty much the difference between inheritance and um, composition. One last thing I will note, all these functions are the same here. Um, what they're doing is I'm just reaching inside of the state. So I'm calling the function walker, passing in the state object, because I've got a function inside of here that's referencing state. I've created a closure around that. And I'm checking to see if the object has name or ID, putting that into the variable nm. And then I'm using that name here when I'm writing stuff out. That's why I'm getting Bob and K45 and Dolph, is because I'm passing it in through the state object. And then I'm checking to see, OK, is it name or ID? That way my function works with either one. That was the one fix that I did. Uh, do the one change that I didn't have to do up inside the inheritance model because I could be guaranteed in the inheritance model that somebody either had a name or they had an ID because of who they inherited from. All right, so I hope that made sense. Um, if you have any questions, please leave in the comments. I will leave a copy of all of this code as a code gist in the comments for you guys to look at. Um, if you have any questions, please leave in the comments. As always, thanks for watching.